Hey Wargamers, this is Sam from Wargamer Online and I'm just going to show you another really quick easy way to do some sort of poison effect on your weapons and it's really straightforward, we're only using three uh, materials for this. We're using Lead Belcher from Games Workshop but you could use any silver paint from any range, it will work fine just to prime your weapons before you get on to the, the next step. You might want to do a wash as well, so do like a Norn Oil wash just to dull down the blade a little bit. But that's pretty much it, get the blade to how you normally finish your weapons and then the next step is just adding some Nurgle's Rot. So this paint is going to be the, the start of our poison effect and all we're going to do is paint this on the, the blade where you would imagine poison being applied. So you could do it along the, the actual blade edge or just the tip, wherever you prefer it to be. And you just want to try and do this as uneven as possible. You don't want to do a really straight line of this. You want to do a couple of dots here and there and maybe drag it down the blade in some areas as well just to make it really irregular. You can just see I'm adding a couple of dots here and there. And then do the same on the opposite side of the blade as well. And you could use a different paint for this. If you didn't want to use Nurgle's Rot, you could use a, any sort of green. You could even use a blue. But if you're going to be doing that, you might want to add more gloss varnish onto the paint once it's fully dried. Just to make it really sh uh, shiny and sickly. So we've done both blades here, and then we're going to go on to the next step. And this is what gives the, the blade some texture. And we're using Yuhu glue here. I'm not sure if it's called the same thing in America, but this is what it is in the UK. And you just want to put some of this onto a palette. And it's quite tricky stuff to get used to, it pretty much goes everywhere. So I'm going to use cocktail sticks to apply it to the blade. And like I said, it is pretty awkward stuff. So I'm wrapping it around the end of the cocktail stick. And just as you stretch it out, it just kind of goes with it. So um, get as much as you can on the end of your cocktail stick. And once you've done that, transfer it onto a part of the blade. And this will become easier the more you do it as well. So I'm just kind of blobbing it on there and then dragging it down and it won't set immediately. You want to kind of drag it out and sometimes I might drag it onto a, a knee pad or something further down just to stretch out the glue. Um, but just leave it to however you want it to be. And we're going to go over this with super glue at the end to seal it in place. So like now I'm, I'm making it more attached to the blade and you could have left it how I did it just a second ago where it was out further. Like it's dripping off the end of the blade. And then do the same on the opposite side. And then once you're happy with the position of the glue, get some sort of uh, super glue. You can use any type to be honest. I use one with a brush just because it's easy to apply it. And just go over all of the Yuhu glue section just to seal it in place. It makes it a lot stronger. You still don't want to be touching the, the glue as, as often as possible when you're playing games. Don't pick it up by the weapons. But otherwise it's pretty durable. It won't just fall apart. And that's pretty much it. It's a really quick and easy way to get some sort of dripping effect. And you could use this as water as well, water effects. I'm just showing you what you could do on a weapon to make it look like some sort of poison. You can also go over this with washers once it's fully dried. You could use greens or browns just to make it look a little bit more uh, tinted so it's not clear. But this is as minimum as I would go just to try and get this done. So I hope this helps. If you do like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel because there's loads more to come. And this is just a final spinny video just to show you what the finished model looks like. There's a tutorial on wargameonline.com showing you how to paint this. Other than that, have a good one and we'll see you later.